Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com. Now, in today's podcast, I wanted to discuss news of more layoffs, not necessarily at the Big Four Accounting Firms, it's at Grant Thornton. But Grant Thornton has announced that they will lay off 300 people in the United States, and this news came out on Wall Street Journal. And they're going to lay off 300 people, and that's roughly 300. Uh, that's roughly 3% of the workforce in the United States. Uh, Grant Thornton has 9,000 people in the U.S. and 68,000 globally, according to the Wall Street Journal. And the article also says that the consulting market is forecast to grow by 6 to 10% this year, and it's down from 10.7% in 2022. Now, I don't know if I buy that, because if that was the case, then why would Grant Thornton be laying people off? And the article also reminds us that EY has already laid off 3,000 3, people after their failed split up. And then KPMG will supposedly lay off several hundred people, or they laid off seven, several hundred people in February. And Grant Thornton identified these people um, due to pockets of underutilization. And I think they also said that it's going to be focused in the deals area. And most companies are laying off people in consulting that focus on M&A because those deals just aren't happening anymore. The, or the, the speed of the growth of deals is not happening anymore as interest rates go up. And also, people are uncertain about the environment. On one hand, in the market, you have everybody talking about AI and how AI is going to solve every single issue and just generate endless amounts of revenue. On the other hand, you have companies that are cutting down and just laying off tons of people. I think Goldman Sachs or other investment banks are going to have another round of layoffs pretty soon just because there's not M&A deals happening. Uh, There's other companies... Uh, a lot of retailers are laying people off, in, in at least in their corporate segments. Um, there's companies like Disney laying people off. There's just a lot of companies out there that you, you see layoffs every single day. But the market keeps going up, too. And that's the other thing is that Grant Thornton said that they're going to keep an eye on the, the market to see where things are before they they move forward with any more layoffs. But if that was the case, then they wouldn't have necessarily had to lay people off because the market's been doing well. It's just certain segments aren't even moving. Private equity, M&A, just not doing well as they were. uh, And a lot of them have just completely shut down. So, you know, I think we're going to see more layoffs. Or, I mean, it's hard to tell with the accounting firms because they could also do hiring freezes, and I think a lot of them are doing that. But... There's a lot of things going on in the world right now, and especially with AI, you'd think that the big four accounting firms have a lot more that they could do there. Um, as far as consulting around that area of how to implement AI, and you can maybe move some of these people over, but the other problem too is whenever there's a, a downturn in the economy, a potential downturn, big four use that as an excuse to just lay people off that they've been meaning to lay off. And this is the case no matter what, because if you're underutilizing the big four accounting firms, like let's say you're under 60% uh, and you're not manager or above, then then you're uh, on the line to possibly be laid off no matter what or be put on a performance plan. So that's why you need to, when you're in the big four, one of the biggest things you need to do is make sure that you're utilized because the big four anytime doesn't matter whether it's a good economy or bad economy. If you're not utilized, you, you can be laid off. So that's why you just need to be careful when you start, you need to make sure that you have enough clients. And after you start, if your utilization starts dipping, you need to start reaching out to people to get it up. You need to figure out how you're going to get it up or you just need to leave yourself. Otherwise they're going to end up laying you off. And it is difficult to meet your utilization goals and stay under budget on your clients, but you just have to manage that. Otherwise, you're going to be 
at one of these firms getting laid off. And if you're sitting at the big four accounting firms or any accounting firm, and you're at 50% or less utilization, you should leave unless you have multiple jobs and you know, you don't really care about your big four job that you're just uh, doing as a side hustle, which are, which now is a little bit, might be easier to do depending on the work from home policy of your firm. But otherwise you need to make sure you utilize or look for another job. That's just the way it is. And I think the big four are going to just look at what other companies are doing here. They're, they're going to feel comfortable laying people off as long as other people are, are laying people off. If other firms like, for example, Goldman Sachs stop laying people off and start hiring, well, the big four are going to get scared and they're going to keep hiring. A lot of what they, a lot of the big four are copycats. They, they read the Wall Street Journal. These accounting firms read the Wall Street Journal. They see the layoffs. And so they're like, hey, you know, there's a good chance for us to jam a bunch of layoffs through of people we don't like. Because uh, that's another thing is that we saw with EMY where they said they had record retention, uh, meaning people weren't leaving the firm. So in times like these, the big four are going to use the layoff excuse to lay off people that they don't want just so the partners can maintain their paychecks, you know? But there's plenty more to come from this, I'm sure. Uh, who knows whether we're going to get a recession, a global recession, U.S. recession. There's, it still remains to be seen. Based on earnings right now, it doesn't necessarily look like that in the next quarter, uh, but we will have to keep an eye on that. And, and based on where that ends up, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see where the layoffs end up, but we supposedly don't have a recession right now and we're getting plenty and plenty of layoffs. So there's just a lot more to come on that. And I think there's going to be more in the accounting industry as well. I don't know if I buy the AI hype just yet. Uh, we'll have to see how that goes, but we will talk about more of that in, a po in another podcast. So make sure to subscribe and check out the show notes. Thanks for listening.